here I think Adobe Illustrator tips that can come in handy in your design processes. The pencil tool has to be the most versatile illustrator tool ever. You can use it to draw out shapes in any way you want. You can also use it to change how a shape or a text looks simply by drawing around the selected shape. You can change the color of any artwork using this. First, select the image. Make sure it's grouped of course. Select edit on the title bar, scroll down to edit colors and select recolor artwork. Click to switch to advanced options. Now you can click and change the individual colors. Or you can even choose the amount of colors you want in it. If you want to adjust letters of a text without converting it into a shape first, then use this tool. Right click on the type tool here and select the touch type tool. Use it to click on a letter and adjust it fully. Instead of selecting the colors you need for your project and individually adding it to your swatch, you can quickly select all the colors outlined and create a new swatch group. That's when you can save yourself some time. You can use the width tool to customize any stroke part in different ways. Just draw a stroke, select the width tool and use your mouse to drag in and out to change how the stroke looks. You can also save a stroke pattern to use later. The Coverture tool is a great tool that you can use to customize shapes or text. See it as a mixture of the Pen tool and the Free Transform tool. You can use it on an anchor point to easily change it from lines to curves in any way you want. You can use the Free Transform tool to distort artworks freely. You can distort, transform and even change how an artwork looks simply by holding the anchor points and dragging around. You know how you can drag an anchor point on a sharp corner and make it a curve? Do you know there are many other options than just curve? Just by holding the alternate or option key, you can change many other forms of the anchor points. If for example you have a type that you want to be italic but there is no italic variation, using the shear tool you can select the type. Hold on shift to keep it straight and drag to adjust the intensity of the angle. Say you have two shapes that you've drawn out and you are finding a way to combine them. This can help. Select the shapes and using the join tool, draw around the areas you want to join and there you go. I hope these tips come in handy in your design career. And if you have some more, feel free to share with me in the comment section.